Okay, so we have gotten quite a few comments from you ladies wanting some tips on bathing suits. So we are gonna give you a lowdown of 12 different tips to really help you with your body shape and your body type to select bathing suits that really help to boost your confidence and make you look beautiful. Of course, we're gonna have everything linked down below for the different tips and bathing suits that fit those tips. Kelly and I are also going to have our favorite ones linked down below and we'll also even throw down um, some links for some bathing suit cover-ups if you ladies are on the hunt for some new ones. Yes, yeah, so these are all things that we keep in mind when we're shopping for our personal bathing suits. Of course, we didn't exactly feel ready to model those looks <laughs> for you, but we're gonna be sharing with you some great options to help you shop. So if you are new here, I'm Kelly. This is my best friend, Christina. We make videos about all things fashion, tips and tricks, hauls, all kinds of good stuff. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on anything new. So if you are someone that has some insecurities about your tummy area, then a great detail to look for in a bathing suit is draping. Draping will create just a skimming effect on, in that area that you're insecure with. So whether you are someone who recently had a baby or maybe you have a little bit of menopause belly or whether you're just someone who carries a little bit of weight in your tummy area, for sure draping is a great detail. It just skims the body and really helps to conceal and mask any of those little bulges that might make you feel insecure during bathing suit season. So the key to finding the perfect swimsuit is to find one that works with your body. And what I mean by that is looking for something that's going to help to conceal any of your insecurities and highlight any of the things that you really want to accentuate about your body. So one of the things that you can use to do this is color blocking or strategic paneling. So there are lots of great options this season for this little trick. So using color blocking, these colors can be used in a way where the darker color colors can really create a slimming effect while the lighter colors can be used to highlight or accentuate certain areas of the body. So depending on where your insecurities are, you're going to want to have those darker colors in those areas and those brighter colors in areas where you're okay in enlarging them or accentuating them. This can also be used to carve out a waistline. So sometimes just having those lines of colors on the side can really help cut out a waist. This is often used in clothing like dresses. Christina and I have definitely shared that with you before, but using it in swimsuits is also a great trick. And we've also been seeing a lot of these sheer kinds of details on swimsuits that have the same type of effect. So by using these sheer panels in different ways throughout the swimsuit, you're really able to create kind of an optical illusion that is really defining the waist, elongating the body, and really helping to just make you look your absolute best. A detail that I definitely look for in a bathing suit is either a built-in bra or an underwire in the bathing suit. So this really is helpful for me. I'm a 34 uh, triple D, so I am larger on top, so I really need that extra support. But having a underwire in your bathing suit can also be really helpful if you are someone who has a smaller chest and you wanna create more volume, because you can find bathing suits that have some padding in it. The other thing too is that if you happen to have a bathing suit that has underwire in it and you're looking for some extra padding and it doesn't have it in there, we'll actually link down below in that description box for you that we do have some water wear padded inserts that you can actually use to put in your favorite bathing suits. So this is a great detail. You won't be limited on the style or on any of the colors of bathing suits. So whether it's a one piece, a two piece, or something like a tankini or a beach uh, bathing suit dress, you'll definitely find this feature in it and it'll absolutely give you those curves that you're looking for. So one of my personal favorite elements to look for in a bathing suit is ruching. So ruching is pleating or gathering of fabric that creates a little bit of a rippling effect. This is something that we are seeing a lot of in bathing suits these days, and for good reason. It is actually a great way to conceal and flatter certain areas of the body. So we often find this in the tummy area. And by having this gathered and ruched material, it really is helping to conceal anything that's going on 
underneath. Maybe you have some lumps and bumps, a little bit of a tummy. This is really good for women who have maybe had like a C-section and sometimes you have that scarring. A lot of times that I would find with a regular bathing suit and that very thin layer of fabric, you could even see a little bit of the line where the scarring was. However, with this ruching, it really does conceal that. So it is very flattering. It is a great feature to look for. We're seeing it in even two pieces as well as some tankinis and one pieces. And it's definitely something that you should look at if you are self-conscious of your tummy area. Another great feature to look for in a bathing suit is one that has shapewear. So shapewear in bathing suits is going to be very similar to maybe wearing something like shapewear underneath your clothing, whether you are someone who wears Spanx or something like that. It really will just help to kind of suck and pull you in. So some of these bathing suits have shapewear that focuses on your tummy, where other ones have overall a body shapewear. So that will also help to kind of pull everything in from your toe to your hips to even your back area if it's a one piece and this is just one of the details that we absolutely had to mention to you because of course a lot of us tend to feel a little bit insecure when we are out in our bathing suits during the summer months and this is just a great fabric to wear where no one else knows except for you that you're getting that little extra help and lift so it will come as no surprise that this next element is one that I really like and that is belts, belts on swimsuits. So if you've been watching us for a while, you know that Christina and I love a great like belted shirt dress or any kind of detail on a dress that really helps to pull in that waist area and create a little bit more definition. So it makes sense that this element would work perfectly in swimsuits as well. So I'm so glad that designers are really taking that into consideration. So by adding a belt detail to a swimsuit, not only does it create a cute little element that really like brings up the look of the swimsuit, but it also has a very strategic job that it is doing by helping to create some definition in the waist. So especially if you are someone who has more of a like athletic or rectangular build, you might really appreciate having something that helps to define your waist. So look for a belted swimsuit. It's going to be perfect. Another great way to conceal that tummy area in a bathing suit is looking for an element of tiered ruffles. So this is just a very lightweight fabric that falls gently and skims over the body. So you can have everything from tiered ruffles that start and cover the entire front of the bathing suit, or you can even have some bathing suits where the tiered ruffles start under the bust line. Really, it just kind of depends on your personal preference. But this is just another tricky kind of way to conceal seal that belly area, especially if it is a problem area for you. Well, we've focused a lot on that tummy area, and now we're gonna focus on some upper body things. So for those of you who maybe have some broader shoulders or a little bit more insecure about your back area and feel like you're a little bit wider, there are some things that you can do that can be very flattering as well. So I definitely have broader shoulders. I have kind of an inverted triangle type of figure. And what I really like is a halter style neckline. For some reason, something about that little halter style really just helps to like break things up a little bit and really helps me to feel more feminine. It accentuates the shoulder area, which tends to be a very feminine and pretty part of a woman's body that's easy to accentuate. So a halter neck is really going to do a great job of that. Another great one is an off the shoulder option. So I love a great off the shoulder top. So no surprise, I also love this detail in a swimsuit. I feel like it is very feminine. And again, it's allowing you to kind of expose an area of the body that is very feminine and sexy and might make you feel a little bit more confident in your swimsuit. You ladies know how much Kelly and I love wrap style dresses, so of course it's no surprise that we also think that wrap bathing suits really are such a smart, smart bathing suit to wear. If you're someone that has insecurities about your waist area and you're trying to create a waist, that wrap detailing really can just create the illusion of having a more defined and cut waistline. But it's also perfect if you are someone that is a bit curvier and you do have an hourglass, it really will just help to accept accentuate and highlight the curves that you already have. So this is a detail that we love. It's not surprising. We think it's absolutely beautiful and feminine and one that we had to put on this list. 
So this next tip is for our two-piece lovers. So of course, some people feel more comfortable in one pieces, some people love a great tankini, and some of us still enjoy wearing a two-piece. Really depends on what you're comfortable with, but when I'm shopping for a two-piece, there are certain elements that I definitely look for, and one of them is an adjustable style bottom. So this one that we are sharing with you is one that you can really move around this little banded layer, which also has a little bit of ruching in it, you will see. But these adjustable bottoms, we found several of them, but they have this element of being able to move around the waistline. So if you are someone who needs to elongate your body a little bit, maybe you're a bit short-waisted, you can pull that down and create a little bit of a lower rise and put that little bit of ruching right in the area that you need it. However, if you want to help bring up the waistline, creating a slimming effect or elongating the legs, you can wear it a little bit more as a high rise. So being able to make those adjustments is really helpful when you are trying to wear a two-piece because we often find that a lot of these two pieces are definitely made for a much younger crowd where they are just very, very low cut and very difficult for us over 40 ladies to pull off. So having something like this really helps you to get the perfect fit on your bikini bottoms. If you are someone that is insecure about your lower area, maybe your hips, and your butt area, then a feature that you wanna look for in a bathing suit would be either a skirted bottom or a bathing suit dress. So by having this extra layer of fabric on your bottom half really will help to conceal your hips, your butt, and even a little bit of your thigh area, just depending on how long that fabric is. But this can definitely give you just more confidence that you're looking for and also to help you to conceal any of those insecurities that you have in your lower half. Well, ladies, this next option is one that I am sure you are all very familiar with. So when all else fails, go for black. So a black swimsuit is, of course, going to be the most slimming color, just like black clothes really help to slim the body. Having that monochromatic black bathing suit is going to be very slimming. And of course, if you combine that with some of these other elements, like the halter neck or some ruching or a wrap style, you really can have a bathing suit that is really going to help you feel your most confident, which is what this is really all about. So these are just some great tricks. And of course, black is just a no fail option. All right, so we hope this video was helpful and gives you some good ideas and strategies on picking the perfect bathing suit for you. And we'll see you ladies next time.